Ever wondered about the states that seem to fly under the radar? The ones you forget to include when you're naming all 50? Yeah, those guys. Today we're diving into the top 10 states that don't matter, but somehow exist anyway. We're going to talk about their quirks, their charms, and why they deserve a little more love. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more intriguing content. So, grab your metaphorical atlas, adjust your metaphorical thinking caps, and get ready for a wild ride through the often overlooked corners of these United States. Let's go! First up, we've got Delaware. You know, the, the one that's always first alphabetically. Yeah, that Delaware. Now, this tiny state might seem about as exciting as a beige wall, but hold on, there's more to it than meets the eye. See, Delaware has this weird claim to fame. It was the first state to ratify the Constitution. That's right, this little guy, this unassuming sliver of land was the first to say, yeah, let's do this whole United States thing. Pretty cool, right? But then something happened, or maybe nothing happened, because after that initial burst of glory, Delaware seemed to just fade into the background. So here's to you, Delaware, the first state, the forgotten state, the state that makes you wonder if maybe being first isn't all it's cracked up to be. Next up, we're heading to the smallest state in the Union, Rhode Island. Now, you might think that being small would automatically qualify you for the doesn't matter category, but Rhode Island is here to prove you wrong. This little state is bursting with charm, history, and a surprising amount of coastline for its size. Seriously, they've got more coastline per square mile than any other state. Take that, Florida. Rhode Island is also home to Newport, a city practically overflowing with Gilded Age mansions. And speaking of history, did you know that Rhode Island was founded on the principle of religious freedom? Roger Williams, the founder of Providence, was kind of a big deal back in this day. So next time you're planning a trip to New England, don't forget to add this little gem to your itinerary. You might just be surprised by what you find. Okay, let's be real. When you think of Vermont, you think of maple syrup. And listen, I'm not here to judge. Vermont maple syrup is delicious. It's like liquid gold, but stickier. But Vermont is so much more than just its breakfast condiment of choice. For starters, have you seen the place? We're talking rolling green hills, picturesque villages, and forests that blaze with color in the fall. Vermont is also a haven for outdoor enthusiasts, hiking, skiing, snowboarding, kayaking, you name it, Vermont's got it. And if you're more of the relaxing in nature type, well, they've got plenty of that too. Just find a cozy cabin, curl up with a good book and soak up the tranquility. So while Vermont might not be the first state that comes to mind when you're planning a vacation, it's definitely worth a visit. Next up, we're heading west to Wyoming, the least popular state in the US. Seriously, there are more cows in Wyoming than people and probably more pronghorn antelope too, now that I think about it. But hey, who needs people when you've got scenery like this? We're talking wide open spaces, towering mountains, and some of the most stunning national parks in the country. Yellowstone, Grand Teton, Devil's Tower, the list goes on and on. Speaking of Yellowstone, let's talk about geysers for a second, specifically Old Faithful, the most famous geyser in the world. This thing erupts like clockwork, shooting jets of boiling water high into the air. It's like Mother Nature's own water show, and it's pretty darn impressive. So if you're looking for a place to escape the crowds, reconnect with nature, and maybe see a geyser or two, Wyoming might just be the perfect destination. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're heading to Montana, the big sky country. And let me tell you, the name is no exaggeration. The sky in Montana is so vast, so endless, it feels like you could reach out and touch it. But the sky is just the beginning. Montana is a land of rugged mountains, pristine lakes, and sprawling forests. It's home to Glacier National Park, a hiker's paradise with over 700 miles of trails. And if you're lucky, you might even spot a grizzly bear or two from a safe distance, of course. But Montana isn't just about natural beauty, it's also got a rich history steeped in the lore of cowboys, Native American tribes, and the gold rush. So, if you're looking for a state that's big on adventure, big on beauty, and big on history, look no further than Montana. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're heading to North Dakota, the Peace Garden State. This state has a lot more to offer than meets the eye. North Dakota is a land of wide open spaces, rolling plains, and big, beautiful skies. 
It has a rich history intertwined with Native American tribes. Embrace the open road and discover the beauty of this often overlooked state. Let's be honest, when you think of South Dakota, you probably think of one thing, Mount Rushmore. And hey, I get it. It's a mountain with four presidents' faces carved into it. It's pretty hard to top that. But South Dakota is so much more than just a giant presidential sculpture garden. For starters, South Dakota is home to Badlands National Park, a surreal landscape of rugged canyons, towering spires, and otherworldly rock formations. And speaking of animals, South Dakota is also home to Custer State Park, where you can drive through herds of bison roaming free. But South Dakota's beauty isn't limited to its national parks. The Black Hills National Forest offers stunning scenery, from towering waterfalls to serene lakes. So, while Mount Rushmore might be the main attraction, don't underestimate the rest of what South Dakota has to offer. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Nebraska, the state that's basically just a giant rectangle in the middle of the country, what could possibly be interesting about that? Well, my friend, prepare to be surprised. Nebraska is full of hidden gems, quirky attractions, and natural beauty. It's the Cornhusker State for a reason. A sea of cornfields stretches as far as the eye can see. But Nebraska is more than just corn. It's home to Chimney Rock, a beacon for pioneers on the Oregon Trail. And it played a pivotal role in the Transcontinental Railroad, so next time you're on a road trip, explore the Cornhusker State. Nestled in the heart of Appalachia, we find West Virginia, a state often overlooked but brimming with rugged beauty, rich history and a whole lot of charm. First and foremost, West Virginia is a hiker's paradise. The Appalachian Mountains run through the heart of the state, offering breathtaking vistas, challenging trails and a chance to reconnect with nature. Hike to the summit of Spruce Knob, the highest point in West Virginia, and soak in the panoramic views. Explore the New River Gorge National Park and marvel at the power of the New River as it carves its way through the ancient Appalachian Mountains. But West Virginia's beauty goes beyond its mountains. This state is also home to cascading waterfalls, pristine rivers and lush forests. So next time you're planning a trip, don't overlook this hidden gem in the heart of Appalachia. Last but not least, we're heading to New Hampshire, the Granite State. Now I know what you're thinking, New Hampshire, isn't that the state that's basically just a bunch of trees and the occasional moose? Well, yes, there are a lot of trees and the occasional moose, but New Hampshire is also a state with a surprisingly big personality. For one thing, New Hampshire is home to the first in the nation presidential primary. And that's right, every four years, this tiny state gets to cast the first votes in the race for the White House. But New Hampshire is more than just a political battleground. It's also a state with stunning natural beauty, from the rugged peaks of the White Mountains to the picturesque lakes and forests that dot the landscape. And let's not forget about the fall foliage, so while New Hampshire might be small, it's definitely not to be underestimated. And there you have it, folks, our whirlwind tour of the top 10 states that don't matter but somehow exist anyway. From the historical significance of Delaware to the rugged beauty of West Virginia, we've explored the often overlooked corners of this great nation and discovered that even the most seemingly insignificant states have something unique and wonderful to offer. So the next time you're planning a trip, don't just stick to the usual tourist traps. Venture off the beaten path, explore the lesser known states and discover the hidden gems that await. You might just be surprised by what you find. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this list, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more fascinating content. See you next time, you.